Welcome back. Um, now I will talk about the primal and the dual problem. So first of all, what is the primal problem? Primal problem. Well, it's just the Lagrangian that we have been talking about for equality constraint, non-equality constraint, and when we have both constraints, equality and non-equality. So for example, for the case of equality constraint and inequality constraint, this is the primal problem, right? So, and we usually refer to that by LP, just to differentiate it from, uh, to distinguish it from the dual problem. So this is LP. Now, what is the dual problem? The dual problem. Now, what I want to do here is just to give you a uh, visual or a visual intuition for what the dual problem is and let's go back again to our friendly one-dimensional space say that I have the following function that I want to minimize right and just for the sake of simplicity assume that we have no constraint so minimizing this what if I can create another function like this one such that minimizing this is the same thing as maximizing this so the minimum of this is here right and the maximum of this let me just use another color this is associated with the primal problem so the minimum of this primal problem is here in this point and also this curve is, asso is associated with the dual problem so the maximum of this curve here is also in the same place. In other words, if I want to minimize the primal problem, it's the same thing as maximizing the dual problem. So what we want to do is to transform this primal problem into a dual problem and then try to maximize the dual problem instead of minimizing the primal problem and vice versa now the question is why this is useful well this is useful because it's computationally efficient to solve the dual problem than the primal problem this is why it has a relation, it has to do with efficiency and conveniency. That's all. But now, this is not always, the dual problem cannot always be found uh, such that the maximum of the dual is the same thing as the minimum of the primal. Because sometimes when we compute the dual problem and then we try to maximize it, we have a gap between the solutions. So what I mean by the gap? So say that I would consider the same idea as this one. So say that I have a curve that is associated with the primal problem and say that the curve associated with the dual problem is like that. So this is the curve associated with the dual problem. Now it's clear that the maximum of this dual problem is not the same thing as the minimum of this primal problem so I have here something called a gap so this is a gap this is called the dual gap and sometimes when this dual gap is you know is uh, very small then we say it's okay to solve the dual problem but when this gap is very large when this gap is very large then it's inconvenient to solve the dual problem and in our case uh, for the minimization problem that we have in the SVM we can prove that the dual gap is equal to zero so therefore for the SVM for the optimization problem in our support vector machine we will use we'll be using this dual problem so now that I think that the concept of this dual problem is clear, now the question is how to find the dual problem. What is the expression 
This is what we care about. We want to find the expression of the dual problem. Well, the expression of the dual problem can be found by minimizing. So this is, I, I will try to give you an example because we have treated so far many types of Lagrangians for many types of constraints. Now I will consider one type of constraint. I will consider uh, a constraint that I have, uh, say, just take this simple, the simplest constraint, so say equality constraint. A equality constraint and I have say well the number of constraints that not does not matter so they have n constraints n constraints and I'm saying this because the expression of this dual problem depends upon the type of constraint you have now I will talk just about one type of constraint and it, it will be easy to uh, to conclude how to do that for other types of constraints so this is the primal problem that I have for this constraint, I will have a, an expression that depends upon W and D and alpha i. Okay? And i is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, till n. It represents the number uh, or the order of the constraint. So the dual, the dual is the same thing as the minimization of this. <coughs> with respect to uh, W and D <coughs> sorry for that so if I minimize this for W and D I will get an expression uh, uh, I will get an expression that where I have only alpha I in other words this LD will depend upon alpha I and it's easy to do that we just need to find the partial derivative of this primal problem with respect to w make it equal to zero find the w solve for w and then replace it in the equation of lp we need to replace that in the equation of the primal <coughs> and then do the same thing for the uh, find the partial derivative with respect to D and then you know find the solve for D and replace it in LP now when we replace the expression of W and D we will get a new expression that depends only upon alpha I okay so in that case this would be our dual problem and let me remind you that to minimize that we need to maximize we need to maximize this problem or this equation for alpha i and that's how we solve this problem <coughs>